Hey there, my name is Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today, Today I'm going to be talking about all of my most anticipated book releases for the month of June. So there's actually a lot of sequels that are coming out in June that I'm super excited for. Some of them I have not read the first book in the series, but it's something that I either have on my TBR or it's something that I own and really need to get to soon because the sequel is coming out. But before we go ahead and get on into the list of books, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon so you can be notified every time I post new bookish content. I post new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday and sometimes other days throughout the week. Also, don't forget to check down in the description box below for links to all of my social medias, my buddy read discord, and my Patreon where you can be entered into winning book giveaways from me. I'm going to be talking about these books in release date order and the first one is For the Throne by Hannah Witten. This is the second book in the Wilderwood series and this comes out on June 9th and this is the sequel to For the Wolf which I received from a lovely subscriber last year and still have not read it but this is a Red Riding Hood retelling and if you know me I really enjoy retellings. Sometimes authors can put some really interesting spins on original stories and I really have been wanting to read this book for the longest time and just haven't got into it. The premise of the story is basically that in this land or kingdom the second daughter of the royal family is sacrificed to this wolf and this has to be done in order to keep the gods happy but our main character our red riding hood once she is sacrificed to the wolf learns that he's not actually a wolf he's a man and he is doing everything he can to keep the gods from descending upon their world and devastating it and our main character finds that she has some magical abilities and they team up together to protect this land and I'm pretty sure that there's probably some sort of romance that happens between the two of them but that's all I know about this book it sounds awesome and it's really one that I want to get to so that I can jump on the sequel. The next book is an adult thriller and that is The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager and this book comes out on June 21st. In this book we follow a main character named Casey and she is an actress but she's kind of been having like a string of bad luck getting gigs so she decides to take a vacation on this lake house in Vermont and she passes the time by kind of spying on the couple that lives across the lake and they are a very wealthy couple. Um, the husband is like a big businessman, the wife is a model. And one day, Casey sees the wife, whose name is Catherine, drowning in the lake and attempts to save her, does save her, and the two of them kind of strike up this unusual friendship. But the more that Casey spends time with Catherine, learns about Catherine and her husband Tom, and spies on them, she learns that their marriage isn't all rainbows and butterflies. So one day when Catherine goes missing, Casey just thinks that her husband has something to do with it and starts to uncover the truth of the relationship and what's going on between the two of them. So this seems to be like a common trope in thrillers. I don't read that many thrillers, um, but where you have a voyeur that sees something and thinks they see one thing, but then there's a total other story behind what the voyeur thinks she sees. And I've enjoyed the books of Riley Sagers that I have read, so I'm looking forward to this one as well. The next book is Blade Breaker by Victoria Aveillard. This book comes out on June 28th and that is a sequel to Realm Breaker which was gifted to me by one of my patrons and subscribers Andre and I still haven't read it but I have read her entire Red Queen series and did enjoy it overall and this series this book just sounds like a fantasy that has all the things that I love in a YA fantasy. But in this series we follow a magical land that is being consumed by this like threat, this darkness and we follow a character named Karain. And one day this assassin shows up at Crane's doorstep and says that she is the heir to like this ancient magical lineage and she needs to come with him to help save the world. And along the way they kind of um, gather together this group of misfits and all of these different type of characters that all have a different type of skill and they band together to try and combat this darkness. So like I said, has everything that I really like in a YA fantasy. And I will say when you open the book, this book has one of the most gorgeous maps that I've seen in a YA fantasy in a long time. So it makes me excited to get to this book and its sequel, which like I said, comes out on June 28th. The next book I'm super excited for and I'm surprised I haven't pre-ordered it already but that is Locklands by Robert Jackson Bennett and that is book three in the Founders series. So I read Shorefall I want to say two years ago and I knew that he was still writing the third book but this is a fantasy series that is basically it's kind of allegorical for our modern day 
day society and how technology influences it. And I will say that this book has one of the most interesting magic systems that I have ever read about. Like I said, it's allegorical for um, basically like binary code and things like that. But in this world, people can actually kind of code inanimate objects to become lifelike. And it's just a really interesting concept. It's really fast paced. I would say if you're into fast paced fantasies, pick up this one if you're into more like character uh, fantasies and slice of life type of things. Probably not your go to, but it's a really interesting concept, really interesting world. And I'm super pumped for the third book in the series. And Lothlands comes out on June 28th. And then the next book is The Martyr by Anthony Ryan. This also comes out on June 28th. This is an adult fantasy book and I read The Pariah I think in January and as with all of Anthony Ryan's books I absolutely loved it and I had planned on pre-ordering pre this book but I haven't yet and I think I'm just gonna pick it up on its release day if my bookstore has it because they don't always carry Anthony Ryan's books and I think the last book I had to order off of Amazon which is like I said The Pariah and if you haven't checked out my review for this book, I'll link it up in the cards if you want to uh, go ahead and watch it. But highly recommend it. Highly recommend Anthony Ryan. And I knew that that was one of the books that I was going to purchase this year and read it because I really love the Pariah so, so much. And lastly, we have a YA fantasy. This is The Song That Moved the Sun by Anna Bright. And this also comes out on June 28th. And this is an author that I have never read anything from before. I don't know anything about her. I don't know if this is a debut book. She's just new to me personally. But the way that the synopsis made the world sound is that there are different spheres that people live on. I'm just going to think they're like planets. And each sphere is governed by a different astrological sign, which is really bizarre. And it follows two main characters that are best friends and things are going bad in their life. But then they meet these two other uh, characters that are from a different sphere. And they discover that things going on on their sphere are happening all across this universe. There is a disruption between the harmony that kind of keeps these spheres in balance. So our two main characters, Rora and Claudia, end up going along with these two other characters that they meet, pick up some more characters along the way to try and find out what's going on with this harmony and what's going on in their universe. And that's really all I could gather from the synopsis. But then at the bottom, it said that it was like influenced by the Inferno by Dante Alighieri. So I really don't know what to expect with this book, um, but it just caught my interest. It just seems like something I've never read before and just a neat span on like astrology and like Dante's Inferno. I mean, come on. So I might pick this up. I might not. I might get it from my library. But like I said, this comes out on June 28th. So if any of you guys out there have read an arc of it or are planning on reading it, let me know because if y'all recommend it, then I will prioritize it. All right, you guys, that is it for all of my most anticipated releases for the month of June. Let me know in the comments some of your most anticipated releases for this month, and I will see y'all in another video soon. Goodbye.